Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. This is David Pendleton and I'm gonna give you all the details you need to drop hole number seven on pro every single time. So, you know, very rarely do we get something as close as what's called an automatic hole in one, but this one is playing really good. I've dropped it four times already. Um, every time I've hit it perfect, uh, I've dropped it. And that's once I found the correct landing position. Uh, which is what you're actually looking at right now, and I'll go into that so it makes sense. My full pro walkthrough will probably be out tomorrow. I'm having a case of the great shots uh, on a couple holes. Maybe this is getting in my head, but it's driving me crazy. I'm hitting way too many great shots um, on some of these par four extra eagle opportunities. But I'm going to get them. Uh, no worries. Okay, hole number seven. Now, here's how we're going to play it. We are going to play it with a power one ball. Uh, which means you can use a navigator if you want to. I highly suggest uh, using a Wind 5 Power 1 ball. Uh, you know, I don't normally endorse a lot of money balls in a pro tournament, but you get an opportunity like this to where, again, if you hit a perfect ball, it's probably going to be a hole-in-one as long as you set it up correctly and you pull your rings correctly. Uh, using a navigator, again, is fine. You know, just the thing I don't like about it is if you get a six and a half mile per hour wind, you're going to have to pull six and a half rings. It's just a big ring adjustment when you could really knock down the wind. Okay, enough of that. So here is what you're looking to do. You are going to put your yellow ring right up on the sand line. And you're going to use three bars of backspin. And you're going to offset your ball guideline to the right of the pin, as you see right here on this screenshot. This is exactly where you want to set up and you're going to pull your rings one for one. So if you have a five mile per hour wind, you're going to pull it five miles per hour and you want to favor an 1159 pull angle. Okay. If you don't understand what that means, when you pull your rings, you know, you always pull so that the arrow uh, blows north. But you know it doesn't sit still, it vibrates. It vibrates from north to right, which is called 1201, like if you were looking at a clock, and it vibrates from north to left. Sometimes it vibrates all the way around like that. It just, it just flickers there back and forth, all right, depending on what the game gives us. In this particular situation, you don't want it flickering from north to north right. You only want it flickering from north to north left. That's called 1159. Now, if we hop into the replays here, uh, you're going to see this and what I'm talking about. So we're going to start right off with using our three bars of backspin. And we have the yellow ring on the rough line here. And again, look at the offset. Notice where I'm putting my ball guideline almost on the seam of where the dark green and the light green uh, squares connect. And you're going to see here, the wind is blowing from north to north left. It is not going north to north right whatsoever. That is extremely important when it comes to this hole. Thank goodness we hit a perfect ball, which I said I'm really struggling with today. I'm about ready to, to break my iPad in half. And there's a hole in one. Now, that was only 3.2 miles per hour wind, okay? Um, sometimes when the wind gets stronger, you can't always duplicate the landing spot, but in this particular situation, we can, this thing is dropping, uh, right into the hole every time, no matter the wind. So I gave you the 3.2 example. Here's a whole mile per hour, stronger wind at 4.2. As you can see, yellow ring on the sand line, ball guideline. I'm trying to find that right spot. Now, I've made this at 3.2, 3.7, 3.7, and 4.2. So I showed you, you know, the easiest one at 3.2, and now I'm showing you the stronger one at 4.2. And there you go. We sneak it into the cup. Again, no problem. So look for my full pro walkthrough. If not late tonight, it'll probably be out tomorrow morning, okay? I want to make sure that we're completely dialed in to win this tournament before I release it. I already have a lot of great shots uh, to share, but I really want to get it perfected before I uh, upload it to YouTube. Thanks, everybody.